Hi, Jim Quancy again, here to talk about Forge and how you can use it in your digital transformation. Working with design and engineering data to make it part of your enterprise data to really automate your business. And today we're going to talk about one of our shorter topics and it has to do with catalogs and specifically around spare parts catalogs, which some way say one may say, well, that's a small thing. But for many manufacturing businesses, spare parts is the most profitable part of their business. And it's also, you know, when it comes to this customer service and, and helping customers keep their machines going in maximum uptime, it has a huge impact on customer satisfaction and happiness with a business and repeat sales, which are the most profitable business. And before I jump in talking about catalogs, for those of you who are, have, are just watching this video, I um, want to make clear, you know, what our partner's doing with Forge. They're using Forge for creating data visualization and analysis experiences, digital twins, AR, VR, sometimes called MR, XR, various sorts of reality, uh, SaaS integration, again, catalogs, which we'll be going through here in a minute, um, configurators and design automation, which can be quite connected you know, really speeding up the customer sale to shop floor, to installation, um, to maintenance experience, and actually minimizing the number of people hours as well as time, I call time to revenue, and photo to 3D. So um, our poster child for using Forge for catalogs, for spare parts catalogs, um, is CadShare, uh, based out of the Ireland who really specializes in manufacturers with large machines that are kind of modest volume. And it tends to be this modest to low volume, large machines with lots of parts that really feel, feel the spare parts pain because the time and the effort it could take to build uh, spare parts catalogs and publish PDF files. And these are the types of machines that change quite a bit and can be tailored to specific customer experiences, which then make a challenge later for dealing with, um, for getting the right spare parts. These also tend to be expensive machines that when they're down, it really, really hurts. And if you get the wrong spare parts, it becomes a crisis for the customer and for the manufacturer. So here, um, let me play this video and you can hear from the head of CatShare. Or in this case, I thought there was videos to this one, uh, audio to this one, but there's not. But you can see here, we've got a, a web page going to a specific piece of equipment, going to a specific sub-assembly, and then be able to figure out, you know, exactly what they need, how many are in stock, and they can add it to their basket. And again, with these large pieces of machinery, this can be a pretty complex animal. And how you want, your customers, your users, or it could be your distributors um, or your resellers, um, the visualization you want to give, is it is it a shaded, kind of more realistic view? Is it a more schematic view um, like you see here? These are all really simple things to do with Forge. And, you know, what is the original source of this model? You know, is it Katia? Is it SolidWorks? Is it Inventor? Is it Fusion? Um, is it Siemens PLM NX? You know, I don't know. I don't care. Um, and, you know, the, so the ability to use Forge to create these very simple and easy, compelling spare parts, find and order experiences is really, really important for many manufacturers. OK, so what Forge web services are used in these kinds of experiences? Well, data management API. Um, again, moving files back and forth, uh, passing the design files to Forge. Model derivatives, so taking any number of different CAD files and getting them in, in a single format that you can both view and that you can and you can identify specific parts um, and pretty much automatically from the CAD system um, organize kind of the hierarchy of parts. But you can do more, and I know CadShare does. You may want to reorganize the hierarchy. So kind of what your bill of material is for design may not actually be the bill of material as you use it in manufacturing and may not be the bill of material as you'd want to present um, through a customer spare parts experience. And you can do all that with Forge to kind of build these experiences. And in the case of CadShare, they actually use Forge to help you author the experiences to change kind of the structure 
um, of the product of the machine to the best way you want to present it to a customer or again to a distributor or a reseller who's trying to figure out what the right parts are are they in stock and to quickly you know get that order together again if you're new to forge um, LearnForge.Autodesk.io is the place to start. If you are a web developer, in a few hours, you can quickly learn to do Forge Basics, um, pass a model to Forge, view the model, take it apart in terms of an assembly, sub-assembly, um, pass information back and forth from wherever the kind of the master file data repository happens to be, PLM system, PDM system, um, or whatever. And again, with Forge, don't be bashful when you're getting started. Ask for help. Uh, the Forge, uh, my Forge team here at Autodesk has helped thousands of people, several hundred developers, kind of one-on-one. -on -one. Um, Forge.help at Autodesk.com. And feel free to not just ask about a question, but to say, to share, hey, here's what I'm doing. Do you have any advice? You know, maybe what's the best code samples? You know, are there any gotchas I need to worry about? Or if you're a little more bashful, you don't want to ask for help directly, you know, you can just do a Google search. We have lots of Forge learning materials, code samples on GitHub, community activity. You can see how other people like you may be working with Forge and questions they have and answers on Stack Overflow. We've got an extensive blog which goes through a lot of common use cases that are more about that are more than just a you know a single forge service but the combination of several forge services and other services like from aws like from google like from microsoft like from sharepoint um uh, whatever you know so helping you kind of put the pieces together and of course if you're watching this video you're probably seeing it through youtube and i definitely find the younger audience tends to start with uh, youtube videos to kind of figure out how to use a new service a new piece of technology and of course, this is a formal docs, there's pricing information, there's customer success stories, and much more on forge.autodesk.com. And with that, I hope you enjoyed learning a bit about the application of Forge for creating catalogs and more specifically parts catalogs, which can deliver great value and help both the top and the bottom line in customer satisfaction for manufacturers of large machines, complex machines, medium to low volume machines. Thank you.